Hey Scorpio, it's Ia Patsy, and I'll be doing your January 2019 reading. And this month, we're going to be getting cards from the astrology reading deck. And these are by Allison Chester Lambert and Richard Croaks. Right? So, this is a deck that is broken down into three sets of 12. 12 cards for the planets, 12 cards for your zodiac sign, and 12 cards for the houses, all right? So the planet talks about the part of you that is uh, being affected this month or the part of your personality that is engaged in this particular issue, all right? So the part of your personality that is either engaged or, or affected by the events of this month and the house that the planet that is affecting this situation is Venus so Venus talks about beauty and your desire for beauty around you this talks about valuables and success talks about indulgence so pampering yourself living the good life, all right, having your comforts. Venus is about love, but a successful love. Materialism? Mm -hmm. Possibly. The zodiac sign that is that you're going to be employing, we all have different, all the signs in our chart somewhere. So, different situation calls for different energies. And the zodiac signs represent the part of your chart or the qualities of whatever zodiac sign you need to employ in order for you to handle these challenges for this month. So, you got two cards. And the cards that came for you, Scorpio, were... <coughs> Libra, right? So Libra is about balance, right? Libra is the previous month, you know, the previous sign to you. So you could still be retaining some of those energies, all right? So this is about balance. Um, this is about being diplomatic and gracious and seeking harmony in your relationships. And the second energy that you're going to be tapping into from your zodiac chart is Pisces. So Pisces is wistful, daydreamers, right? Loving, compass compassionate, forgiving. Pisces has a way of uh, charming a person from uh, a staunch, um, attitude they can coax them into softening their resolve right they're magical like that <laughs> all right so you're going to be employing your loving compassionate side to bring harmony so you're going to charm you're going to be using your charms, your feminine energies, perhaps, to bring about your indulgences. So something that you're going after, something, maybe you want to um, be uh, extravagant about something, a splurge on something. Maybe your partner is not with it, and so you are going to be able to charm your way into getting what you want and bringing balance to the relationship, all right? So, now, the houses are the 12 houses of the Zodiac. So, which one of the 12 houses of the Zodiac is going to be most affected by these energies? <laughs> the seventh house. The area of your life, which is about long-term, significant partners, romantic, business, or family. So, 
The seventh house, love, family, relationships. So maybe you are going to be charming. You're going to be so charming this month, Scorpio, that you are going to bring balance to your relationship or maybe a commitment that you were seeking. You're going to be using your charm and your wit and your ability to, to, to dream big, to bring balance to a relationship or to bring balance to, yeah, to a relationship. Some thing that you're pursuing, maybe bring balance to your marriage if you've been having some concerns or like I said, using your charms to get your partner to indulge your desires. You're using your, your charm to get your way. And that's what you're concerned about this month. Could be something to do with business also. You're using your charm, and your wit, and your grace to get your way or get things to be balanced in the way that you want them to be around your business or your family or your love. Interesting. Charming. All right, so let's see what we can get from the right away deck. Let's see what's happening for set Scorpio. All right, then. So we have justice. Justice is also Libra, it's also balance. So, whatever this is, I guess they're saying that this is justice, that this is what you are, I want to, entitled to, or, but this is, you're not, you're not indulging in something that you shouldn't be, or that isn't deserved, but whatever this is, justice is being, Justice is at the heart of the matter. Maybe you are seeking justice about something that you consider valuable. And in order for you to get justice, you have to use your charms. Mm. In order to get your justice about this thing that may have some bearing on your relationship, you have to use your charms in order to get the balance and the justice that you seek. Mm, mm, interesting. All right, let's see what else we got here. Justice. Mm. The fool, a new beginning. Start taking a leap of faith. So you are determined to get this justice and you are going to take you're taking a chance by putting yourself by making yourself vulnerable putting your presenting yourself going forward taking a chance that your charms that you'll be able to charm your way towards your justice. So you're taking a chance. You see an opportunity to get what it is that you feel that you're entitled to and you're taking a chance, a leap of faith. All right, interesting. Starting off the new year. Stepping out on your faith. The Nine of Wands. So, your guard is up because you may feel like you're being scrutinized, or criticized, or attacked. All right. So, you this. 
maybe you feel that something is threatening your stability, your relationship. Okay, maybe since you feel that you have, that something is threatening your relationship or your family, and you have decided that in order to maintain your comfort, you are going to start anew. You're going to start new so that you can get balance and justice. You are going to approach this from a different approach this in a different way. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. That this that this Libra Pisces energy that you're going to be employing is new. That's not how you usually operate. But you're you've decided that, that you're going to take this chance that you are going to try to be new to be more charming, to be more fun-loving, to be more compassionate and more forgiving in order to protect your relationship or protect your family. Because that's the right thing to do. And that's going to keep everything balanced just the way you like it. To keep you, to be able, that you can retain and maintain your comfort, you are now deciding that you are going to change the way that you approach the situation. You have a new approach to your relationship so that you can protect, protect it because you feel it's being threatened. You feel that your stability or your relationship is being threatened. And so now you've decided that in order to maintain what it is that you already have, that you're going to have to change the way you approach the relationship or approach your partner. And you are taking a chance and you are willing to do it because you have faith. You believe in your abilities to make this change. Mm. All right. Yeah. You are trying not to be left out in the cold. So maybe there's a problem with your marriage or your relationship. Maybe you're afraid that you're going to separate from your loved one or get a divorce or something like that. And so you decided that you are going to come at this another way. And successful. You want a successful new, abil uh, 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 new beginning. You know that this relationship is abundant and stable and it makes you happy and it brings opportunities. And so you are going to change the way that you approach this relationship in order to protect yourself and protect your relationship. To protect your relationship, protect yourself within the relationship so that you won't be separated, you won't, you, the relationship won't be ended, and then you lose access to your valuables and to your Hmm, comforts. So you have a plan that you're going to use to maintain your stability and to watch your back when it comes to your family and this relationship. You're going to take a different approach, but you're still going to be paying attention to what's happening around you. You're adjusting. You're adjusting your, your methods, your way of doing things. Yeah, the hermit, this could be dealing with a Virgo. Right, so that would have been the sign before Libra, right? Or this could be you seeking the answers, you trying to look for a new way, a new path towards your goal. 
towards spirituality, towards stability, a new way of looking at things, a new spiritual path towards abundance and balance. So the hangman reversed. So coming out of a, maybe you didn't know what to do. Maybe you weren't sure. Maybe you felt like you weren't getting anywhere with the way that you had been operating and that the, your stability was being threatened. So you decided, make a decision to do something, to make a move, all right? To look at this from a different perspective, come up out of it, and make a change. Make a change. And that's going to bring balance. That's going to bring balance back to your relationship back to you that's what you're seeking and so that's what you are going to get balance but you have to look inside of yourself so that you can tap into these energies of libra and pisces to help you get what you want and not be left out in the cold because of uh some imbalance or some some uh something in your relationship that you need to, that you feel like you need to keep an eye on and that you need to defend yourself from. Bottom of the deck is Eight of Cups. So, instead of walking away, you're going to make the adjust, make the necessary adjustments to stabilize the relationship and get the balance and the rep rep reciprocity that you need but you can only do that when you get up and, and make a change hmm so let's see what we can get from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck about the situation for you, Scorpio, for January. Hmm. Round and round. Number 25. Two and five is seven. So this is something that you have been working on for a long time, or this is a situation that has been going on for a long time. All right. But this is a union or relationship that was brought together by divine intervention, by God, God, the creator had his hand in bringing you to this place of clarity about the way that you are handling the situation. That's what I'm getting. Let's see, 25, round and round. Mm -hmm. So this talks about looking at your patterns from a new perspective, right? Getting down off of that hangman energy, okay? Your lessons haven't quite integrated, but there is a cycle that you're being challenged to break. The appearance of this card is a reminder that although it may appear that you've gone backwards, the truth is, is that you're standing at a higher level, looking down on your circumstances. You will learn something, do something better, and break a cycle set of the past. You actually now have a bird's eye view of your initial footprints and can access the wisdom and the lessons learned. Are you wondering, how did I get here again? Does something familiar right now in your 
Does something feel familiar right now in the dynamics between yourself and your partners? Maybe a little too familiar? Don't be surprised that you found yourself repeating an old story with the same sort of person who may not look similar, but who attracted you because of your easy acquaintance with his or her qualities. So your relationship is a mixture of good and what is potentially a challenge. You've been drawn to this person through the perfection of spirit's plan for your evolution. So this relationship was a lesson. That's what I'm saying, that it was planned. God brought you to this to bring you through this was a lesson on the other end. You may have circled back to an accustomed spot, to a familiar pl place, but that's fine as you get a chance to do things differently this time. For you've learned something of great value since last time. How do you choose to behave now, now that you've become aware? Remain curious and stay out of the blame game. So this could be a relationship of something that you lost before and now you decided that you want it back or you want to fix your partnership and you're being advised to look at how you got here again and what are the changes that you need to make. And I think that is the hermit. That's that hermit energy that's having you look inside of yourself and your circumstances so that you can learn how to do things a different way. To maybe not be so materialistic, but rather to be more balanced and more charming in order to save your relationship. That might resonate for someone, some of you, to look at the way you do things. Mm -hmm. Number 43, again, another seven, a deep knowing. So, you know, maybe you know that the way you've been operating before now is not getting you what you want. But also know that these changes that you're making don't need to be manipulative. They need to be real solid changes. You need to make a decision to change your ways is what I'm hearing. And you know it. Inside of you, you have these tools to do things differently. And it's being brought to your attention that a change is coming and you know it. So, 43. Your intuition is allowing you to communicate with the Creator. You're being led by the Creator. But there's a part, this is. God is speaking to your heart, a part of you that is not apparent to everyone around you, part of you maybe that you keep hidden. That could be that Libra Pisces energy, but your intuition is telling you that you need to protect this relationship. And your God consciousness is speaking to your heart. Okay. It's perplexing that people are taught to ignore their natural capacity to navigate their journeys and to access their inner guidance. Know that you have the ability to read between the lines and find all of the truth that is missing when a story is being told to you. So using your intuition to see what is really going on not just what you're being told. And this deep wisdom allows you to open the door to a wisdom far greater than what is available in the limitations of human experience. 
you are being given information that may make no sense whatsoever to the logical mind or the five senses, but which is 100% correct and true. The trick is to listen and then to act accordingly. You are now invited into this sacred dialogue of deep knowing. So tune in and trust your vibes. Trust your intuition. It will be right. Ask and you will receive answers from unusual sources. Ashe. Now there are occasions when you know deep inside of your heart and the soul that a person is going to play a meaningful role in your life. Someone comes across your path and suddenly, out of the blue, you are connected on a level that's impossible to describe. That feeling marks a moment in time which will be etched indelibly upon your soul. Someone has entered your life who will be instrumental in your journey. So pay attention. Two hearts are calling to each other to begin an alchemical process. This is also a sign that your intuition about the person that you care about is correct. Trust your heart to lead you now. Watch the magic that's about to happen. So, this is some, you got two sevens. This is being divinely orchestrated for your benefit, for the benefit of your partner, your family, those around you. So know that you are on the right path. And don't, don't waver from that. It may not be easy, and it may not be evident to anybody else, and you might not be able to explain, to explain how you, know this but you know this you know this and you're going to go with it you know the change that needs to be made in order for you to regain or maintain this relationship and you know you can't keep doing things the way that you've done them before because it's not going to work or it hasn't been working ah wow so Serendipity, 18. Serendipity is like synchronicities. It's like things happening as if orchestrated by the universe in order for you to get to this place. Things falling into alignment. The magic, <laughs> the magic that they're telling you to step back and see it happen. Things that you don't have any control over that just seem to just miraculously take place around you. And this is your ancestors and the divine looking out for you. You've stepped into alignment with the greater good where your dreams and the collective dream resonate in harmony, exquisite harmony. Now the time for luck and preparation to meet and create miracles that you could never had planned all by yourself. Keep in mind that you are a channel for providence right now. As a higher energy uses you as a force on behalf of the whole world. Hmm. Your fortune becomes everybody's fortune. Everything you bring into being now will leave a wondrous legacy for others in the future. Your service to the world is being supported at this time. Expect the unexpected and smile because spirit loves you very much. Spirit has a plan and that plan is to place you in front of the right person at the right time. You have met or you're about to meet someone that's going to be vitally important to your journey. Someone that spirit wants to bring into your life. Only divine forces can plan this meeting. It's out of your hands. Pay attention to the signs as spirit presents. So, you're being brought to a place where everything that you desire and things that you haven't even knew that you wanted are going to fall into place for you. And the relationship is going to take the shape 
that the divine wants it to assume in order to bring you happiness and peace. Because when you tell this story, it's going to resonate for everybody. It's going to bring happiness. It's going to bring enlightenment to everyone. When you tell the story about how this love happened or how this love changed you and the changes that you made because of this love. Oh, and number 23, peace. So you're going to get some much deserved peace when you make these changes because two and three is five and five talks about change and adventures. So you're going to get some peace when you get in alignment with what is being presented to you. And you are doing that when you start tapping into these energies of Pisces and Libra, balance and charm and big dreams. All of this is going to work together for your good and for the good of everyone involved and the collective, everybody. This is not something that you're going to keep to yourself. Once you accomplish it, maybe you're going to be telling others how to make those changes that are going to keep their relationship stable or keep their families together. Maybe you're going to be doing some marriage counseling or some public speaking or something, but something is that's going to change uh, that this change that you're making, this conscious decision that you're making to not allow yourself to be left out in the cold and to get justice in a situation that you may have given up on or that you may have thought there was no justice to be had. The message here is that you're being given a second chance at this relationship, not just because you deserve it, just but just because this is going to be evidence of God's handiwork that is going to be so evident to when you tell the story, it's going to be so you're going to have to be able to prove it. People are going to be able to see it because they have watched your journey. And then they're going to say, well, if they could do it, I can do it. If Scorpio can do it, I can do it. If Scorpio, Scorpio can do it, then Libra can do it and Pisces can do it. We can all do it. But we're going to find out how you did it because we're watching you and you're going to share it with us because that's what God wants you to do. That's the whole purpose. Oh, my goodness. From the ah, Daily Guidance from Your Angel Deck by Doreen Virtue, the card that just came for you is joy. Joy is the highest energy of all. It's the magical sense that everything is possible. Joy springs from appreciating the gifts within each moment. Joy allows you to attract and create your present and future moments at their highest possible level. So this whole transition, this whole transformation is bringing you joy as you're doing it, making you feel young again. Okay, making you feel free. Nice. Wow. So, by you listening to spirit, by you embracing the messages that you feel in your heart, it's going to make a change that is going to be good for you, for your partner, for your family, for your community, and for the rest of us. Because we are going to be learning from your experience, and enjoying your happiness with you. <gasps> Wedding. Somebody's getting married. <laughs> wow. This is gonna, maybe this is going to lead to a marriage. Maybe you're making the changes that you need to make in order to solidify this relationship. Or maybe you're making the changes that you need to make in order to propose to someone, and that's going to give you joy taking a chance and stepping out on faith toward your stability. Marriage is a union of two souls joined in love, mutual respect, and commitment. It signifies a desire to deepen love over time. Your wedding day is a testament to your well-founded faith in love's power. Continually breathe life into that faith and love 
there's one. So, so don't rest on your laurels once you get this, okay? Continuously work on your relationship, improving yourself, and tapping into those Libra and Pisces qualities that have gotten you to this place. Wow. Joy and wedding. Hmm. Okay. The bottom of the deck is the ocean. The deep blue sea speaks to your soul, healing and soothing you. Even the act of imagining yourself dipping into its healing womb brings about desirable effects. Better yet, spend time physically near the ocean. Allow its power and beauty to wash away all cares and concerns. So maybe you need to spend some time near some water and thank Olokun and Yimiya for this new beginning, this new ability to maintain and create a joyful relationship, this marriage, this proposal. So maybe you need to go to the water, go to the ocean. Maybe you'll go on a cruise for your honeymoon, but you need to be near water, okay, in order to... I'm, I'm, I'm getting that, that, that when you sit by the water, when you go to the ocean, it's going to give you a chance to meditate and to get healing and open up your imagine, imagination. So even if you can't get to the water, you can imagine yourself near water and just allow yourself to get into the, 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 the rhythm of the ocean and the healing. And when you get into the shower or the tub, do, do your prayers there too. Do your prayers near the water, in the water, and let yourself be healed. Give your give your cares and concerns, any negativity, just send it out to the water, send it out to the universe. And the card that was underneath that is there's nothing to worry about. You are safe and this situation is under perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Divine timing is at work in your situation, Scorpio. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to and through you. So go with the flow. Sit back, relax, and watch God be God. Nothing to worry about. Ah, Shay. So, Scorpio, thank you very much. I hope that this um, reading will resonate with you throughout the month. So come back at the end of the month and check. Let us know what's going on. And uh, those of you who are getting married, congratulations. And um, those of you who are solidifying your relationship, again, good work. Congratulations. You could even be renewing your vows if you're married already. Okay? But things are being done behind the scenes in order to bring you and your loved one into harmony okay so don't worry there's nothing to worry about you got this so i'll be talking to you all soon please don't forget to like subscribe share make comments in the description um make comments below and the cards and everything how to contact me is all in the description uh, box underneath this video so I'll be talking to you all real soon i say namaste Peace.